I just wanted to take you through a printing demo for our emoji text booklets. Uh, there is a bit of a difference in how we're going to print this because we are going to be binding these with a statile stitch method. The reasons for that I went over in class, but just to recap, basically we're stacking these all up and they um, have to be paginated in order for them to be bound correctly in this particular format. So this pagination has to reorder things in order for them to make sense on two up saddle stitches that are also printed double-sided. So um, instead of using file print or exporting a PDF, what we're actually going to take advantage of is way down here at the very end of the file um, menu and it's print booklet. And it's going to pull up a dialog box that looks like this. Now you could conceivably print directly to a printer, but what we're going to do for the purposes of this is use a PostScript file. There's a couple of reasons why you'd want to do this. Uh, mostly it's so that you could hand this off and have somebody else print it, say at like FedEx Kinko's, uh, where they wouldn't have to handle any of the pagination. Whereas if you give them just your raw file, they have to reorder things through some sort of pagination software and that's a little unreliable. The other reason is so that we don't waste paper when we print. You don't want to print 28 pages only to find out that you forgot to put a blank printer spread in or something like that that has reordered your pages and thrown things out of whack. So this is going to give us the ability to see what we will eventually print before we actually do, which is pretty good practice. So the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, in this dialog box, make sure that booklet type 2-up saddle stitch is selected. You can see that there are other options, but for us, this is the one we want. And then I also want to make sure that this is checked. If you don't have this uh, checked, it will ignore blank pages and reorder things, um, and that means it will get rid of any blank pages you have relative to your kind of verso recto layout. So we definitely want to make sure those are checked. Now, um, at this moment, you can see that the printer is a generic PostScript file and it's up to custom. The next thing we can do is click on Preview. And you'll notice it says blank page 1, 2, 23. This is not actually out of order. This is the correct order for when we actually bind this uh, and stack them all up. So this pagination 22, 3, 4, 21 this increase and decrease, uh, depending on the page, is super okay. If this looks right, most of the time it's going to print correctly. There is a summary that will give you kind of an overall glance of all kind of the, the uh, details of this. No creep, no space between pages, all that stuff for us doesn't need to be addressed. So this is really just to acknowledge that this is here. Um, for future, uh, future times when you may need to check this information out. So the next thing we're going to do is hit print. And instead of actually printing something, it's going to generate a PostScript file, which is what uh, would be sent to a printer if we actually had a printer connected. But this is just going to land somewhere, in this case on my desk desktop. And I'm going to click Save. Now. I've already kind of addressed uh, that I want to call this a .ps file in previous tests of this, um, but like I showed in the demo, you may have to confirm that you want this to be a .ps file. So this is going to be this is going to be the file it generates, and I'm going to double click on this. I'm almost certain this is going to be wrong, and I'll show you how to fix that in a second. But in order to access this, I need to double click. This is going to open it up for me in preview, but just know you could also open this up in Acrobat as well. It'll do the same thing. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see that it got close, but it actually truncated some of my content. Now, I've had this happen in previous iterations of InDesign, um, but I think it's an error that has to do with CC 2020, which seems to be kind of the name of the game. Uh, and the penalty for updating so soon. If this does this, if this behaves where it's where it's uh, operating correctly in the dialog window under preview, but is in fact cutting off your text, I'll show you how to fix that quickly. I'm going to close this. Now, 
Normally we wouldn't have to do this, uh, and again, maybe you do not. If it looks good when you generate that PDF from the PostScript file, then you're good to go. But if it didn't do that, here's how you fix it. We're going to come to Print Setting, and I still want to leave the printer as PostScript file, but the uh, printing device, I want to select an actual printer. And I need to select one that is color. If you select a black and white um, printer as your model, then all of your color emoji are going to come out in grayscale. So I'm going to make sure to select a color laser jet or a color inkjet or whatever. Uh, it won't really matter, but um, as long as it is a color device. And I'm going to click Setup and make sure that this is set to US Letter. And I'm going to click OK. And now you can see the rotation is off. And this was our problem before. It was uh, cropping it to this kind of area, but then applying it to a letter size page, which is a little bizarre, but that was kind of the way it worked. So I'm going to come back in here and click Orientation, change that, click OK. You can see that I get a bit of an error. It's not, uh, with the margins, it's not centered up. So I'm going to come back here one more time maybe even two, depending on how this goes. I'm going to change page position to centered. And then under general, I'm going to make sure to click print blank pages. And again, that is essential. Otherwise, InDesign will ignore those blank pages and it will screw up your, um, your page order. So we're going to click OK. Now, uh, while I'm getting an error, it's just simply because of the uh, page size with bleed not reconciling entirely. That's okay, I'm going to ignore it, click print, I'm going to click save, and replace that old file I had. Now when we go back to the finder and generate that postscript file, there my text is, with blank pages, in color, uh, with the correct centering on the page format. Now all I need to do when I print this is go File Print and I'm going to select Two Sided and then I'm going to select Layout and under the Two Sided Edge Binding I want Short Edge. If you do Long Edge one side will be upside down relative. I want to flip it over the short edge so that they're both facing the correct way. And then when I hit print, this whole thing will come out. Now, just a cautionary note about that. You definitely want to not print the entire document your first time. I would say pages one through four. Right? This is going to be one sheet, two spreads, four pages, and that will confirm that you did everything correctly, that it's in color, that the pagination is not incorrect, that the orientation is not incorrect, and that will go a long way in keeping Dan very happy. Hopefully that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.